the basic system setup so the first thing that is putty installation so before going into putty installation you should know what exactly putty is so putty is nothing but putty is a remote login client application guys so what does it mean remote login client application so remote login client application is nothing but when you are trying to connect from your remote login client application to a server like suppose if i am hosted this server linux terminal 1 in my laptop in in top of my virtual machine so if i do right uh, click and open a terminal so this is the gui and it is uh, already hosted in your uh, on top of your uh, virtual machine so if i do if config so it will show you me the ip of this server but normal scenario will be like that that if you want to connect to the server this server could be in your different regions this, this could be in your singapore it could be in ohio or it could be in chicago new york or any other region should be there so you cannot go there and connect to that server so to connect to this server uh, you need some kind of application some kind of a software which needs to be executed in your desktop so that is that that is called your remote login client application means you are connecting a remote server from a client application and that client application name is called putty so if i open this putty so you can see uh, <coughs> i have opened this putty and if you execute this putty it's asking you to provide the ip so this is what exactly called remote login client application or in other words also if you want to uh, give another def definition to putty so putty is nothing but it is just more than a ssh client so i'll come into this one why it is called as ssh client and it supports all of the following protocol so it's not only supporting one type of protocol but it supports different type of protocol like raw r login serial ssh telnet but we'll go first here guys so you can see this is the as of now just understand anyways i'll explain this one so this is a server which is situ situated in uh, your uh, mumbai or in singapore if you want to connect because this is a gui okay so nobody is going to give you the access of gui or uh, in production environment so what you need to do is you need to connect via some kind of remote login client application that is your putty and it it is a cli mode that is command line interface a completely black window so what you need to do 192.168.222.138 right so you can see let me check the ip guy uh, it is 168.145.128 uh, okay okay no issues so we'll uh, 192.168.145.128 okay so you can see it's now connected guys right correct so if i put root over here and the password i am into the system okay so this is exactly putty uh, it's a remote login client application and uh, there is one more uh, remote login client application similar like putty but it has more feature okay so that is your mobile extern if you click here so you can see i have opened this mobile extern anyways i am going to explain you how to download both of this uh, client application or remote login client application from your internet how to download 
okay so if you click on session you can see there are many options over here right there are different protocols like telnet rsh xdmp so compared to putty what we have in place there are more feature in mova extern okay so if i click as a new session you can see only some uh, five uh, protocols it is showing if you want to click on telnet it will showing it will connect from 23 port number if you click on our login it is some 513 if you click on ssh it is port 22 okay if you click on serial it is 9600 port number okay but if you if you see here so in mobile action there are multi uh, there are many protocols available right ftp sftp so it has more feature and at the same time in mobile extern for the same session if 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 i can click here you can see i'll put the same ip over here okay that is 192.168.145.128 right guys and uh, uh, the user is root okay so you can see there is one difference there i so if I I need to put the password over here okay so from the next time if you log into the same session it won't be asking you the password because it will store the password or it will save the password first time it will ask you second time it won't ask you but in putty you need to uh, provide the password uh, again and again so yeah so initially uh, putty was there but now there are many uh, many uh, remote login client application came uh, which is having more features so you can see there is a multi execute means you can execute multiple commands suppose if i want to execute cd command so i can execute cd command at a time for four servers simultaneously by opening different different windows so these are the some of the features of mobile extern and your putty now coming back to the point so you understand what is a remote login client application but what does it mean that uh, <clears throat> like here uh, putty is more than just an ssh client why i am calling it as a ssh client there should be some reason behind this one right so putty normally if you want to connect to a remote server we use ssh port okay or we use ssh protocol okay what do you mean by protocol so protocol is nothing but these are the some of the uh, set of rules you can say for example if you if you are walking in india then you have to walk left side right if if you are uh, walking in usa then you have to walk in the right side or in other word also if something is forced by the government some protocol should be there recently it's covid uh, 19 right going on so lockdown is happening in most of the countries right so you need to follow some protocol if you don't follow the protocol you need to face some consequences or uh, government will put you in jail or as well okay so yeah so it's like protocol is nothing but these are the some of the uh, set of rules uh, which uh, we need to follow and in other words also in network uh, term you can say so if you want to connect to a remote server so in network we need to uh, follow some protocols so those are like tcp ip will be there uh, via which we will be communicating to your server but what does it mean by ssh so ssh stands for secure shell ssh again i am repeating this one is stands for secure shell okay so secure shell is nothing but it's a algorithm okay which it uses to while it's connecting from uh, your remote login client application to your server that is this server if i am connecting to this server okay so i am connecting via ssh okay and in other word also if you want to connect to the same server also or here if you can see uh, one second if you can see if suppose uh, here as of now i am using that uh, remote login client application right guys so if you want to connect from one server to other server also means there is no a remote login client application means there will be one server like this one uh, having ip 192.168.145.128 and there will be another terminal here okay so if i open this terminal okay so let me open this one
Okay. 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 No issues, guys. So yeah, so I have my I might have forward uh, forward the password. So no issues. So it will be a another IP for this server. So if you want to connect from one server to uh, another server that is Linux terminal two, so you need to use SSS uh, secure shell that is SSH. Okay, and it uh, follows the protocol. Uh, your uh, but the question arises here that you should have been asked me this question, Abhishek. That instead of SSH, we can use any another protocol also, like uh, Telnet, RAW, R login, serial, or any other protocol. Then why you are using SSH? So there is a reason behind this one to use SSH protocol. What is that reason behind this? Only using SSH, not using any other uh, protocol to connect to your server. So you can see clearly. If from this application that is that could be your putty or that could be a mobile extension if you want to connect to the server okay so you can clearly see if you want to connect to this server so there is a lock in between what does it mean this lock means so this lock is nothing but this is a secure connection this is what it is called as secure shell okay. So when it tries to connect from your application, client login application, uh, from your desktop or from your laptop, then it is communicating to the server, or it's um, uh, it's communicating to the server via SSH. So actually, may it will create a tunnel between your client application to the server. This is why it is called as secure shell. Means. If suppose somebody wants to hack in between, okay, so he cannot hack the data because the data it's communicating or it's trying to connect to this server is encrypted, okay. So nobody can decrypt in between. This is why this lock symbol is there because SSH uses a uh, SSH uses a uh, algorithm. Okay, that algorithm encrypts the data when it's communicating to the server, and that algorithm name as MD5, guys. So, are you getting my point? Are you able to understand my point? What I want to say here? So, this is the reason we are using SSH over here while connecting from your client application to your server, or even if you want to connect from your server to another server, will be using SSH. It's only because it provides more security compared to any other protocol. Uh, like Telnet is there, so Telnet is not secure at all. So if 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 you want to connect from uh, Telnet, okay, then chances will be there that it could be hacked in between, or you will be losing your data. Okay, so this is the reason, guys. It is called as SSH client in most of the cases. Okay, and it's a and uh, we normally when we try to connect even in the production environment okay we'll be using ssh protocol to connect to your remote location server so guys it is clear for you that why it is called as a remote login client application and another words and another way also we can say it ssh client right now coming to the next point that is how we can download this putty or how we can download this mobile extension so there is a very simple way you just need to go to internet so just go to the internet and type https colon slash slash putty dot org this is the official site where from where you can download the putty so if you if you like putty you can download you can go here okay just click here and you can see uh, there is will be a exe file so in windows normally if uh, you want to install some application 
then the file will be in .exe. But here directly you can download this putty.exe file and it depends upon your operating system because most of the operating system nowadays we were using is uh, your uh, 62, 64 bit. If you want to check your operating system type also, uh, you can go to computer pro uh, under properties. Uh, you can see uh, what operating system or system type you have. So you can clearly see it's 64 bit operating system. So you can directly click here. So this uh, putty.exe file will be downloaded and you no need to install this one. You can directly run this exe file. Okay. And uh, other thing is that uh, MOBA extern. So uh, you need to search MOBA extern download home edition. Okay. So you can click here. So you can see guys uh, here that mobile extern directly you can use this link and you can come to this uh, home edition. It is absolutely free. You can download it uh, clicking here. Uh, the latest version that is 20.2. I have this old version with me uh, that is 12 dot something version is there. So you can download the latest version. There is no much difference with uh, this version and the uh, latest version. Okay. But yeah, you if you can start this one using, so it will be much better. You will feel better. So coming back to the point that uh, why we are using Putty or Mobile Extern and why it is called as Remote Login Client Application, why it is SSH using SSH protocol instead of any other protocol. Uh, so yeah, this is all about uh, your Putty and its installation part and it's uh, about the information of Putty.